So in Huntington's disease, the, the bad guy is widely considered to be mutant Huntington, which isn't really one protein, but various proteins formed uh, from the as a result of the expression of the HTT gene with its expanded CAG repeat count. And of course, um, mutant Huntington uh, is thought of as a full length, big, bad protein, which aggregates in cells, but through one mechanism or another, we end up with lots of different versions of the protein, fragments or different splice variants, some more or less toxic than others. But broadly speaking, um, it's, it's agreed that lowering, uh, lowering production or the concentration of the mutant Huntington protein is a, is a good thing to try. Um, and the main way in which this has been achieved so far is with an ASO uh, originally called HTTRX, and then briefly referred to as RG6042, and now uh, hopefully definitively known as Tommy Nursen, and that was announced earlier this year. And this is a, um, an antisense oligonucleotide, so it's a short stretch of single-stranded synthetic DNA with chemical modifications to make it behave more like a drug. Um, uh, and, and, and that is the main uh, approach, or that's the approach that's been tested in the largest number of people for the longest durations so far. Um, and that's now in a phase three uh, efficacy trial. Um, but that same protein, or rather the pathway by which that same protein is produced, uh, is being targeted by multiple therapeutics with multiple different mechanisms of action now, even within one class. So for instance, if you think about ASO drugs for Huntington lowering, there are three of those being tested. Uh, gene therapies, there's one being, there's one which has already been dosed into patients, but there's several others that we expect to start trials in the next few years. And um, there's at least one, probably several um, small molecule approaches being uh, either contemplated or about to be tested as well.